I just recently got the freaking battle pass for this game for this month. Oh, I'm such a filthy fucking whore. Look at all these unlocks. Look at all these unlocks that money can give you. Oh, oh, such a fucking whore. Here, Supercell, take my money, bitch. Take my money. <laughs> oh, I got full unlock by just giving you my money. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at this fucking gay shit. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. These game companies just have no fucking shame at all. And what's funny, I already pretty much got everything completely unlocked. All right, and I have not paid for a single pass in like three, four months, probably I think six months. I lost track. But it's so goddamn hilarious how like twelve bucks makes things so much easier. You get all of these these unlocks behind the paywall. All right, look at this. What an embarrassment! I got everything unlocked. Look at this. God damn, dude, this is literally a legitimate fucking wall of content that's locked. Legitimate pay to win. They even added levels to the unlocks, dude. That's how ridiculous this game has become. Look at this. Like I said, you have to be an absolute fucking whore. To basically giving this game company your money. And I'm just doing it mostly because I just want to just finish more of the uh, of the achievements of the game. I really don't even care much about the gameplay itself half the time. Because I just quit half the friggin' matches. And look at this. Look at my collection. Alright. I pretty much got most of the cards completely unlocked, including the elites. Look at this. Level 14, level 14, level 14, level 13. What's funny is all the cards that are level 13. It's so stupid. I cannot unlock some of these cards because the trade tokens have become utterly and completely useless. All right. But other than that, I pretty much got most of the most of the stuff unlocked in the game. And you can even see like I said, even the the uh like I said, all the stuff that you need to be accomplished, all that stuff. See? The rewards, the card masteries, all of this. Look at this. They're pretty much mostly all purple. And some of them, some of these card masteries are unbelievably ridiculous on how you want to be able to uh, achieve them that are practically impossible, dude. Some of these are just completely impossible and just unbelievably bad. But some of these, like I said, some of them were ironically easier than others. Like, this should be based on damage, not based on how many troops you destroy. That's really, really stupid. Same thing with this. How Like, Tower Tapper is the honestly the worst card mastery in the entire game. You would think that, like it says, hit enemy crown tower, okay? Is it the barrel that hitting the tower or the skeletons that come from the... From the from the barrel that hits a tower. See, there's no real explanation to anything. Hit troop 2,450 times with a fully charged Inferno Beam. Do you have any idea how impossible that is? Alright? Like, fully charged. As of, like, half the cards in this game literally hinder you from being able to, like, even use your charge at all. Alright? Alright? <laughs> <laughs> this game is so ridiculous. And I'm currently using Tower Tapper of this card. Alright? So a lot of these cards are legitimately impossible. P.E.K.K.A. was easier. So I'm using like the most difficult deck that you can come up with. With these two cards. To try to do the mastery. Like Tower Tapper for this one. Is, is very very difficult. Because again... Half the game has stun mechanics and literally stops you before you even touch a tower. Alright? And that's like if you're using two spells at the same time. That, like I said, this game is just so ridiculous with the masteries. But that's pretty much what I'm doing it for. It's for the card masteries. Just to unlock absolutely everything. I'm not even using like 
my best deck because the, using my best deck has gotten completely and utterly boring. So expect some more videos in the future. This is Tactical Knight.